Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to switch gears and open up some of the worst reviewed repack boxes around. We've got Gems of the Game, which you guys seem to really hate on the channel. Uh, we also have Boys of Summer, which you also did not appreciate that much when I opened that on the channel. And a lot of you also aren't big fans of World's Greatest Card Chase or Pack Chase. We're going to open all three of these up and kind of like how Face Off Friday we open them up to see which is the best of the three we're going to do it uh, the opposite way and we're going to see which is the worst of the three so what we have here is this box was twenty dollars at walmart you get one graded card inside plus several other packs this box was fifteen dollars at walmart it has five factory sealed packs inside and this box was twenty dollars i can't remember where i got it at target or walmart and it was $20 as well. So I'm going to go ahead and think I think this is going to be the worst one. I've opened this one before. I think this is going to be awful, but we will see what we have. Let's start off with uh let's start off with Gems of the Game. So far I haven't had much luck with Gems of the Game. I've opened it I think on two occasions on the channel. Once when it came out it was a brand new release and I think I did another one of these in another video at some point. But you can see there's one graded card, one hobby pack, five sealed packs, and then, of course, I don't even know why they'd put that on there. Two triple play packs. That is something that might make people not want to buy this. But let's see what we can find in here. Usually the graded card is only worth, I don't know, maybe a dollar if we're lucky. Let's see. We'll save that graded card for the end. I see it, it's a 10, which is kind of like a uh, whoop de doo because it's a BCCG. They give basically every card a 10. All right, so we've got triple play, two of those packs. We've got 2019 Top Series 1 and three of those packs for good measure. We have our hobby pack, which is the never-ending supply of 2013 Pinnacle. We have a 2017 Top Series 1 pack, so that actually is not that bad. I like that series a lot. There's some really good rookies in that set, so we'll put that aside. Then we have a 2008 Upper Deck X pack. Let's just get this show on the road and start opening these packs and see which is the worst out of the three of these boxes. Now, I'm expecting to maybe, maybe get $5 in total value from this box. I'd be happy with that. I knew that when I was buying it, but I thought I'd buy it just, you know, to make some content for you on this Tuesday night. Thinking of different names to call this video. Maybe like, uh, I don't know, Terrible, uh, Triple Terrible Tuesday or something like that. There's an Exponential Ryan Howard card. Jim Tomey and Alex Gordon. So nothing crazy in there. Let's do our hobby pack from Pinnacle from 2013. Seems like there's a lot of these floating around out there in these repack boxes. Every now and then, though, you get a good card. How about a Mike Trout? That's a decent card. Mike Trout 2013. Then we have Ian Kennedy, J.D. Martinez, Paul Canerco. I guess I should probably take out the best, um, I don't know, put the best cards aside to help me make a better decision on which was the worst. There's Steven Strasburg, pinnacle card. Ryan Howard, who was a big star back in the day. Then we've got a rookie card hiding out in the back. It's Shelby Miller, who uh, has seen his career kind of take a nosedive ever since being traded away from the Cardinals. Now we have our triple play packs. I'm not even going to waste your time even talking about these. You can see what you get with those. Honestly, if I saw these at a flea market for 10 cents a pack, I would not even buy them. Maybe even a penny a pack, I wouldn't, wouldn't buy them at all. Just never a big fan of those. And you can probably see why. Now let's do 2019 Series 1. Maybe find a Michael... Co How about that? Michael Kopech, the car that I was after right off the top. Michael Kopech will hopefully be back and, you know, back to full health this year with the White Sox. White Sox have some interesting arms in that rotation along with Kopech. There's Blake Snell and Clayton Kershaw. Another rookie card to look out for in 2019 Series 1 would be... Jeff McNeil, maybe we'll find him. Not a big fan of Series 1 tops from 2019. I'd much prefer Series 2 by a large margin, and most of you know why with all the good rookies in that set. And update is also pretty decent. But unfortunately, Series 1 just doesn't have that strong class of rookies. Hey, another Mike Trout. So this box is producing some decent singles with the Trouts. 
Um, we're getting a little bit lucky with some of these packs, and maybe we'll pull a nice rookie card out of the 2017 Series 1 pack. That would be really nice. Find a, I don't know, Alex Bregman or Aaron Judge rookie. Let's see what we get. We get A.J. Ramos leading things off. Jose Quintana, Albert Pujols, Chris Davis. We've got a Nolan Arenado rainbow parallel card. John Carlos Stanton. We'll see if he can stay healthy this year. Adam Duvall. So no decent rookies to speak of. And Pedro Alvarez, the last one there. So we have to show you our graded card. Was it worth 20 bucks? The graded card is a Shoyotani Leaf. 2018, which uh, was his, you know, his rookie year was 2018. Completely airbrushed of logos. Uh, it's a mint 10 or better. And um, I don't know how I feel about this card. I would I would bet you if you go on eBay and look this card up at BCCG10, show you a Tawny, this exact card, card number four. I bet you could find it for a dollar. I bet you could. So maybe I might have actually... I might be able to get $5 for that box if I was lucky. So now, let's go ahead and do... We've got the Boys of Summer box, and we have the World's Greatest Card Chase nicknames. Let's do this one. Maybe we'll actually pull some decent stuff out of here. Every now and then, there's some nice packs in here, like 1993 Tops Series 1. Maybe some packs from 1987 and pull maybe a Bonds rookie. So inside this box, which was... $20. I don't even know if I'm going to go through all the packs um, and open every single one, but I'll show you the packs in here. Then we'll open a few of them up that have a chance of value. We got opening day from 2012. I'll open that one. Don Russ pop ups from 88. Then we have 89 Fleer, some good rookie cards in there. 93 Upper Deck. Those are probably all sticking together. That doesn't have the Jeter rookie in Series 1 anyway. There's 91 Stadium Club. We've got an 89 Don Russ pack. Maybe another Griffey rookie. 92 Stadium Club, 88 score, 92 uh, 92 upper deck packs, a 91 Flair Ultra pack, a 1994 Western Region pack from upper deck. We got 90 score, we got 92 and 91. 92 Flair, 91 Flair. So I'm not opening up cards where I can't get anything worth more than, I don't know, 50 cents. So that's going to make Ultra. Go away. I, I guess I'll do 88 to see if I can find the Glavin rookie. These stadium club packs I will pass on. I'm going to pass on the 93. I'm going to pass on the pop. Well, I guess I'll do the pop-ups because maybe we'll find a Glavin in there. Um, I can't remember if that's a, a special set or not. I don't think the base cards are in there, but we'll open it anyway. I'm going to pass on both of the Fleer. So we'll open these right now. We'll do 90 score, maybe see if we can find a Frank Thomas rookie card. The other packs right there, there's not much value to those ones at all in terms of finding anything worth more than a buck tops so in our 90 score pack we've got a kirby pocket dream team card but no frank thomas rookie card because there's no other white border cards in there another kirby pocket so a nice kirby pocket pack not a bad pack mark mcguire's in there as well and that is pretty much it for that now these 88 don ross pop-ups i guess there aren't any base cards in here i don't really ever open these packs so i don't remember but i know they're the 88 don Russ design and basically you get the players from the all-star teams in them so nothing crazy in that pack 88 score again maybe we'll find a tom glavin rookie card in here right now for me the gems of the game is ahead of this box but maybe we'll pull something good it's charlie huff throwing a knuckleball this whole pack um not seeing much value in this one all commons for Yep, all Don Mattingly, best card there with Jack Clark. Let's see if we can find, I don't know, opening day is coming out tomorrow for 2020. So I guess we'll go back to 2012 and open a pack of opening day. You can usually pick these up for a dollar, a retail pack for a buck, which isn't a bad deal if you're just looking for a cheap pack of cards just to bust open. There's a nice Dustin Pedroia Fantasy Squad card. And that's it for that pack. There's, uh, speaking of the opening day tomorrow that comes out there's 36 packs in those you don't see that too often anymore so nice to get 36 packs and how about this one i didn't even get a chance to talk about 92 upper deck but we get pedro martinez star rookie card on top that's a nice one right there of course there is a 1991 upper deck um high edition card out there of pedro but a lot of people always call that as rookie card even though there is a 91 edition 
Oh, they're going every which way with these. I used to like this Orlando Merced card a lot as a kid because I collected Pirates cards back then. So basically, what I'm looking for besides that Pedro Martinez in that in these packs is maybe finding an autograph of uh, I can't remember if it was Ted Williams or who it was in in this particular one. But I, I do remember in '90, '91, '92, Upper Deck did have some random autographs in there: Nolan Ryan, Hank Aaron, Reggie Jackson. Uh, maybe Ted Williams. There's Nolan Ryan. Speaking of Nolan, that's his base card. He's probably like 40, I don't know, 44 years old in that picture. I can't remember, but he pitched into his late 40s and was still quite effective at doing so. There's a Will Clark. Chad Curtis, who was a top prospect when he first came up. We got three packs left. Which box is going to be the worst? So far, this one, it hasn't been, you know, as bad as I thought it might have been because we are getting a couple half-decent cards. Not a lot of value to them, but some interesting cards. 94 upper deck. We've got a Sammy Sosa home field advantage card and Trevor Hoffman, who's a Hall of Famer in there. We've got an electric diamond, Lenny Dykstra slide in there. Those were one per pack back in 94. Andy Van Slyke turning the camera on a fan and taking a picture at one of them, probably at photo day where you get to go out and meet the players on the uh, warning track at Three River Stadium. And a couple star rookie cards, Greg Bloss and Ricky Batalico. Batalico had the better career of those two, but still no value to those two cards. So we're doing these 89s to finish off the um, TriStar box. 89 Fleer definitely could have something good in it if we pull any of the decent rookies from 89 or maybe even one of the Billy Ripken error cards. I won't hold my breath on that, though. There's Burt Blylevin, who is a Hall of Famer. I am unfortunately going to find none of the top five rookies from this set. Gary Sheffield, Craig Biggio, Randy Johnson, Ken Griffey Jr. Not in there. Um, let's see. And John Smoltz. Let's see. 89. We've got Tony Gwynn, who's a Hall of Famer. Looking for Ken Griffey Jr., and he's not going to be in here either. Jim Rice Hall of Famer. So I don't know. Maybe overall value of all of those cards. I'd be lucky to maybe get, what do you guys think? $3 if I put all those out at a flea market. And now we have our final box. I think this is going to be the worst. We will see. You can see looking for a fight promo, which is probably long since expired. And promos. Um, you can see the packs advertised on the front of these are from 2016. So this box actually came out. If we look at the bottom, looking for uh, a date, 2017. This has been sitting at my Walmart. I literally just bought this tonight um, at my Walmart. It's been sitting out for ages. People, I guess the word is out about the Boys of Summer boxes. People aren't going to spend $15 on this unless they are crazy guys like me that are, you know, making YouTube content and just opening it up for your enjoyment. All right, five packs. Not going to be a good one. I can already see on top the invaluable Honus bonus card or pack on top. And to make matters worse, we get two of them. We get a Beckett baseball card monthly Sleeve card there. That's not signed. Don't get excited. Uh, and the corner is dinged up pretty good. So I don't know what the point of putting that in a top loader is. You can see that corner has a nice ding on it. Uh, there's the back of it. Aaron Judge. And they made 7,500 of these cards. Check out that nice ding on that corner right there. Nice big white spec showing. Oh, they even gave us a Babe Ruth collection. So basically for $15... You get this, which, again, I'd be surprised if this went for over a dollar on eBay. You get these three packs, which, I don't know, you'd be lucky to get a dollar for these unopened. So basically, you're paying a bunch of money for 2016 Series 1 and Series 2. Not a ton of super great rookies in there, but we'll open up and see what we can find and see if this indeed is the worst of the three boxes. Here's the Babe Ruth cards. You guys know the deal with these. You've seen them in... Other repack boxes like the um, the Prime Packs, not really that good. I mean, they're cool that you get some pictures of Babe Ruth on there and stuff, but not that great. Honus Bonus, everything's airbrushed off. They have these weird, like, scratch-off things on the back. I think this company went under and 
Um, I don't know. There's just there's no value to these cards, unfortunately. I guess they're fun to look at, and if you really love all types of cards, there's a nice Javi Baez, but unfortunately, just not very good. What year was are these from anyway? Uh, I don't even know. I guess I could look at the back of one of these cards and see if they have a year. Uh, no, they do not. Um, I don't know, maybe 2016, 2017, there's Jamison Tyone. Zach Davies, Adonis Garcia, Tucker Barnhart, and Lee, whose name escapes me, Deho Lee, 2016 stats. So this was 2017 when those came out. Let's wrap it up by doing our 2016 Top Series 2 retail pack and also our 2016 Series 1, see if we pull anything of value at all. Maybe we'll pull an autograph or something. You never know. The odds of that are very, very slim, but it will still be fun to find something like that, maybe a short print, at least an insert. We get an Ichiro chasing 3,000. There's this 2,600th hit that's being commemorated. There's Cespedes sliding in and Anthony Rendon making a nice off-balance throw across the diamond. Here's our last pack. You're going to have to let me know in the comments which box was the worst. I am going to have to say, let's go through this last chunk of cards. There's Ken Griffey Jr. Don't get excited. It's not his 1989 Topps traded card. It's just a reprint. You can see it's Burger's Best. It would be cool if they put buybacks in like that. Uh, in some years, they did do that, and they would stamp them. There's Jason Grilly. Adam Lind and Victor Martinez. So for me, I'm, I think that my... Pre-video assumption that the Boys of Summer box would be the worst. And, um, I mean, yeah, it was $5 less, but just really for two, basically two packs of cards, not worth $15. Um, second worst was probably the, the uh, TriStar World's Greatest Card Chase. As you see, you, you get an, I mean, these are really good for nostalgia purposes. Like, if you just, like, open up packs of cards from your childhood, these are great. But if you're looking to get your money back and get $20, Probably not going to happen unless you get lucky and hit it like a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card um, that might be gradable out of a, an 89 Fleer or 89 Upper Deck Pack. And the um, Gems of the Game, not that good, but I, I think this was the best out of those three boxes. Like I said, we might have gotten $5 of value out of that. So I hope you guys like this. Um, I don't know what to call it. Terrible um, Investment Tuesday. I don't know. This... Uh, different spin on opening some boxes and seeing which was the worst. I mean, we did a series like this months ago where I was going over the top 10 worst um, boxes of all times with 91 Fleer being the worst. Uh, so I guess it's kind of in that vein. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new here, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up button. Tomorrow we'll be back uh, with Stars and Stripes, brand new release tomorrow, and also Topps opening day from 2020 also releases on the same day as Stars and Stripes. And we will likely have a live stream for you sometime tomorrow late afternoon if you'd like to catch that. So thanks again for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your evening, and I'll see you all tomorrow.